Great job. Billionaire businessman Donald Trump has been called a lot of names. He's just an arrogant guy. Conservative. Bombastic, bellicose, bigoted. Love him or hate him, Donald Trump commands attention everywhere he goes and knows exactly how to keep the cameras focused on him. Wow. Wow. Amazing. He's a master of getting attention, a master of making his point. And then if he has to explain it a little bit later, he will, but usually he doubles down. Author Michael D'Antonio interviewed the Donald for nearly 10 hours, several months before his official presidential run announcement. In his new book, Never Enough, D'Antonio peels back Trump's layers. He has a certain way of doing business. It's almost like it's his game and he knows what shot he wants to take at all times so he can let it rip. And I think that's what people are seeing on the campaign trail. Trump has maintained his front runner status with support from primary voters. He hopes those poll numbers will secure the GOP nomination. In a field littered with traditional politicians, Trump stands out with off the cuff statements and big promises. We will have so much winning if I get elected that you may get bored with winning. He admits that to some degree this is a method, that this is calculated. So he'll say, look, I could say the right thing. And that's, it's funny, that's how he described it to me. I know what the right thing to say is, but that's not going to get me on TV. No one's going to listen. So he'll say something that's a little bit further. Taking things to the next level in business and politics is all part of Donald Trump's public persona. But when it comes to his fighting mentality, it's all in the family. I think that it was this idea of competition, of winning, of his father wanting his son to be nothing but the best. He took it to heart and he's run with it ever since. D'Antonio says Trump does take things extremely personally, which is why his bullying component kicks in. He says Trump's lack of compassion could be problematic in dealing with diplomacy and in times of tragedy. That's one thing that our president is required to do is be our inspiration on all levels, not just fighting, but also inspiring, comforting, leading us in every way. D'Antonio says the public shouldn't be fooled by Trump's outsider status in politics. He's an insider. You know, he, he's played the game with literally, as he has indicated, buying politicians. He's talked about how much money it takes to control a politician, down to the dollar. And he was politically connected from the very start. In New York, Elizabeth Shimerak, FoxBusiness.com.